In Minecraft Hardcore Survival 100 Days Challenges, there's not a lot you can do with a world that's only one block square. Fortunately, every new item that I find expands my world border by one block in every direction. And our world has got a lot, lot bigger. Let's see how big we can make it. Welcome back to this Minecraft Hardcore Survival Challenge where I'm going to go 100 days in an expanding border world and it's been going quite well. Well I say quite well, I've not died yet so that officially means pretty good right? So midday day 75, I've almost run out of axe completely, I've got some gold armour with some decent stuff on it, I've got some gold that I could trade with piglins, yes I did say piglins which live in the nether, so I think it's time I took my life into my own hands. Brand new X, extra iron pick, I've got myself a few new torches and a spare shield which might come in handy. Let's go. Now this may not have been the brightest thing I could ever do. Death tends to follow me around when I come to this place. I'm really good at dying. And if you remember last time I was here, some green fire came out of nowhere, literally out of the ground and set me on fire. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. So this could be the shortest thing ever. Literally hardcore, straight and never and dead but let's hope not because these fortresses here i think are looking quite attractive i need to find myself blaze rods because i want to be able to make potions that's the whole point of this little trip the board has gone out a lot further than it had last time which is quite nice so let's see if we can see something that might be a little bit blazy also what we could do is we could pick up some soul sand i don't know if we got any last time which could mean an extra block as well. There's an awful lot of lava around though as well, isn't there? Crimson wood. We've not got any of that yet, I don't think. Can't remember. Yep, soul sand is good. Soul soul is probably also another one, right? I'm going to try towering up one of these big old legs of the Never Fortress. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And I'm a little worried about some of the sounds that I can hear. And I've still not got to the top. I'm nearly there, but I think I can hear some wither skeletons, which is not the beastie I'm trying to find, but we'll keep going. If I have to, I'll run away. These are a little bit too short for wither skeletons to be able to get through these holes. I've done that deliberately. So with a bit of luck, we might find that we're all right. I don't know though, because these are really high. The piggies keep getting in my way, but I wonder whether or not this might be the way forward. Okay, wither skelly's down there. If I pop that across like that, if he comes across down down to me, then he's not going to be able to get me. So if I come here, come down to say hello. Oi, come here, whistle boy. No, he's bottled it. That was rubbish. That's supposed to follow me all the way down. Right, he chased me. I got a little bit scared, but I can now hit him without him hitting me. Wouldn't it be cool if I got a skull first go? We both know that's not going to happen, but I did get some coal. Right, I've made myself a little enclosure and I'm surrounded by him now. Look, there's one. We can keep hitting him. I don't want the piggies to get in the way because that would be bad because they will be out getting me and they'll probably kill me a lot. So that is a bone there. I've not had a, have I had a, oh, I've not had a red mushroom before. That's nice. I'll kill him. Oh, there's a blaze spawner there. That's exactly what we're looking for. I've got a little bit of fire resistance anyway. Oh, there's one right next to me. That's not what we wanted. You die. Drop a blaze rod for me. Go on, you know you want to. No, you didn't. Wither skeleton has just withered me. How could you? Seriously, fella. That's not right. Come on. Don't die. I'm going to eat a little bit of food. I think what I might do is YOLO this blaze as well. There we go. He's still not dropped anything for me though, has he? And you die. There we go. Still not got a thing, but... I can, however, attack you. Now it's the green fire again. Why is it green fire? I don't like the green fire. The green fire is very scary. Right, so I'm just going to keep hitting you until I get a blaze rod. Right, surely, surely. Oh, into fire. I've got a blaze rod. I've got one. I need a few more than that if I'm going to do this properly, though. Obviously, we like fire protection a very lot. Why is the fire green? I don't like the fire being green. I've just remembered I've got a bow that's got power on it, so I should be able to shoot these a little bit more easily than battering them up, perhaps. Oi, come on. Are you going to... Give me some more blaze. There we go. I'm still watching out for those wither skeletons, though, because they could sneak up behind me. I'm not happy about that. I've got 15 blaze rods, and I reckon that's absolutely plenty. So I'm going to wander back, but I'm also going to see if I can try and find a piglin because I want to do a little bit of trading in an ideal world I'm going to get some magma cream so as I can make potions out of that plus any other potions that I might want I've got to be honest I've not really planned that don't even know what potions I want I've forgotten which way I'm going I don't think it's this way was it there wasn't lava there was it 
Now as is standard, I've lost my way. It wasn't that hard, there wasn't that much of a route that I took really was there to try and find my way in it. So somehow I've got lost. So I'm gonna do the really obvious way again. Oh, not down there though, I'm not. I'm gonna stay at those, there's a lot. I was just gonna go down there in the boat, but I don't think I'm gonna do that now. Can I go this way in the boat, that'd be better? No, that's where the lava is. How can I get down? Maybe down there in the boat would be a better idea. This might take a while. By some miracle, I've found my way back, but I have not yet found my way to a piglin that I want to do a little bit of trading with. I thought I'd come across to the Basalt Delta as well, because I'm going to be able to get myself a few other blocks that I've not got yet. Assuming I can even pick the blocks up. Well, watch out for that lava there, my mate. Get that, okay, so that's a good block. Does anybody in the in the comments tell me, do you like basalt deltas? Because I tell you something, I'm not a fan at all of basalt deltas. I think they are probably one of the worst biomes ever. And as a result, I don't like it, but I am gonna pick that up. You know, also maybe I could get that magma block there. If I, if I pop that in the, that, and that in like that, have I already got a magma block? I can't remember. Can't pick it up. What do I need to drop to pick it up? Let's get rid of those. There we go, that's another one I can get rid of. In fact, I might keep that, that might be useful later. I've just realized I've got to go back to the fortress. I'm an idiot, I've got no nether wart. How could I make potions without nether wart? You plank. Go on, be honest. How many of you are shouting, shouting at the screen saying nether wart? Oh look, I found a fella I can trade with. Shall I see what you fancy? You got anything for me? Oi, matey boy, come here. Don't run away from me, I've got gold. You like this stuff, right? There you go, have some of that, look. What do you think? Do you want that? What do you want to give me for it though? That's what's most important. I'm interested in what you can do for me as well as what I can do for you. You're going to give me, oh, a ghast here. I'll switch at 10, oh no, it's iron nuggets. I thought it was a ghast here, that really confused me. I've got to be honest, I think this guy's tried to fob me off. You've seen this stuff that's floating around that he's tried to throw at me. I've got some fire charges, which is not really a lot used to me. I've got some uh, never brick. I've got a water bottle, for goodness sake, some string he tried to give me couple of bits of leather and a bit of obsidian. I spent a fortune on this guy. You're the most expensive date I've ever had, fella, and I want some it back, please. What are you giving me? Come on, last chance. Last chance, probably not gonna be the last chance. What's it, what? It, really, you give me some more soul sand? That's what you think gold is worth, soul sand. There's a whole valley full of it over there. I could have gone and dug it up myself. Not cost me any gold whatsoever. Last one, this is the last one. Really, really more obsidian? That's what you've got? I'm bored of you. I've lit up my entrance so I don't lose it again. I'm having to do some clever exploring. I realise I've got feather falling boots on, so actually I shouldn't get hurt too badly. You, however, are a pain. Go away. I've got enough of your rods, so I don't need any more. You're dead. Oh, you dropped a rod. That would have been nice. See, this bit looks really familiar now. So that's gone down there. If that's gone down there, does that mean that everything there is flooded? Probably. So if I block that off like that that's going to go down i can go and explore that now when you see what's down there and hopefully this will lead me to something a little bit better inside because what's inside oh my goodness there's so much lava everywhere in this place okay i managed to get through it and i found a chest and oh a downward downwards is good what's it oh here we go diamond what can i what do I want to swap out for the diamond? I'm not really going to use the soul sword, am I? What? what? Why have I started catching fire now? Did you fire at me? Was that you? Oi, stop it. Right, what else have we got? I'll take that. I don't want the gold chest plate, but I will come down the stairs. I need to be ready to block stuff off, because... You know when you just know something's coming? Right, what's in here? Uh, more gold. A little bit more obsidian, we can take that, that's very nice. This is the maze now, isn't it? This is what I need to be careful of. Guess what I found? Oh yes, I did. Right, so I'm gonna take this. I might as well take it all. I don't need to worry about leaving it for anyone else. I'm gonna drop, what am I gonna drop? Soul speed, don't really care about soul speed. Let's have those back. Um, and this side as well. I might as well get it all right. I've got another Oh, there's, there's two. Oh, more diamonds. Oh, I'm not really worried about the iron at the moment. There's two. There's two. Oh, brilliant. I'm, this, I'm looking for blooming ages and then two come along. They're like buses, aren't they, these things? So I've just dispatched a couple of wither skeletons. I've got some gold in here. I don't want a saddle. I don't want the horse armor. Do I want a saddle? I'll tell you what. Let's just pop a saddle in there because I've not had one before. Oh, horse armor is actually... If I put it into my inventory and if I then take it out again... I don't need it, but I might as well keep it. I'm not going to need the slabs, I don't think. So let's come along this way. What have I got? Eh? 
this cobblestone. So I've been here before. Where have... Oh, I know where we are. Look, this is the bit where we dug out. Oh, that's so much easier to get out there, isn't it? That's a brilliant result. Oh, there's a ghast. Let's see if I can shoot the ghast. Ha! Oh, first shot as it dropped an eye. Let's just see if it's dropped a tear. Be nice if it's dropped a tear because then I can uh, I can get that extra thing as well. It didn't, of course, but there was another ghast there, though. Shoot you. Sideways. Yeah, I've got you. I've got you, Ghasty. There you go. Have you dropped a tear? I can see there is a... No, you've dropped gunpowder. No one cares about gunpowder. There's no need for me to stay around here. I've got everything I need. Although I'm going to get some quartz, because then I can craft the quartz into different blocks, which means my border will expand, so that actually makes sense to me. There's the portal. And when I got back, the sun was just dawning on day 77. And I thought what I'd do is I'd make myself a little room right underneath my floor, literally one block, seriously, right underneath my floor, just to make myself a little bit of a nether war farm come place to grow it. You know what I mean? There we go, that looks pretty good. I've got a little chest in there. I probably should put my potion making in here as well in a little bottle refilling station with an infinite water source. There we go, that looks pretty good. I didn't want anything too fancy. Let's get some blaze powder. Of course, that expands my board it one further. I'm gonna pop that in there. That's fueling that. And now I can start making some potions. Well, at least I can when I've got bottles and stuff like that. I've just crafted up some of my quartz and I thought, might as well, let's start getting some bits and pieces literally just to expand the border for no other reason than that. That's given me loads more space. But by the time I'd finished messing around, it was day 78, which meant I only had 22 days left to finish off the base on the hill. That wasn't a lot of time. I have got to start getting a rig along. And the sun was going down as well, so it was very nearly day 79, although not quite yet. Now, I did want to see if I can get some zombie villagers out of the mob farm, but I wonder whether or not I wanted to scrap that idea. I was about to make a fermented spider eye. I think I've got everything I need for a fermented spider eye, and I? I've got a spider's eye somewhere. I know I've got a spider's eye somewhere. Where is it? Where's the spider's eye? Come on, I know you're around somewhere. I knew I had it. One fermented spider eye in there. How much glass have I got? I do need to make some bottles, actually. So I decided I was going to dig around and get a load of sand. But what I forgot is I have aqua affinity on my helmet. And what that means is I have absolutely no problem digging around under the water. I've not got none of that delay rubbish that you get. I can get loads of sand, which is brilliant. I decided blow it. Let's make one anyway, just in case. So I popped the fermented spider eye in there, which is going to make my potion a weakness. And then I'm going to pop in the gunpowder. I put a little bit of redstone in there as well, just to extend it. Not that I need it to be extended, but you know what? Might as well have four minute ones, yeah? And now it's day 79. I've got myself a couple of golden apples and those splash potions of weakness. I'm going to go back over to the moth farm. I should be building. I know I should be building. I can hear all of you saying you should be building other match. You're not going to get that thing done. You've only got 20 days. But you know what? I want to do this. So I'm coming over to see if I can't get myself one more zombie villager out and also cure them both to be able to get enough villagers to be out of breed. I know, it's a stupid idea. And I just realised I've forgotten a couple of bits. Seriously, my life. And now the sun's going down on day 79, for goodness sake. How am I ever going to get this thing finished? Now, I appreciate the chances of me getting a second zombie villager are pretty small. But that doesn't mean I can't try, right? So I'm going to give this knight a bit of a batter. Oh, that's a zombie, that's a normal zombie. You're no good to me. If I don't get one by the end of this night, then I'm going to give up because I've got to build that thing over my shoulder. No way! No actual way! Hang on, no, 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 no. Now, see, now I've got to kill creeperages. Right, come here. No way, I, you can't get out either. That never happened. I can't believe it. Right, so let's pop that there. So now what if I do, if I cut that off, we don't want there to be, let me just get my glass. Right, so I've got to kill these off a lot and then kill them. This didn't just happen, did it really just happen? Oh my goodness. I am one lucky, lucky avo. Right, trouble is I've now got to get around this guy. He's gonna hit me anyway. There's a witch. Now, we don't want to play around with witches. Witches, I've got pretty much a... I've got a bad rap with witches. We don't want to play around with the witches. Did I just kill... 
No! I just killed the zombie villager! I don't believe it! The witch fooled me! The witch made me think the zombie villager was a normal zombie and that I'm really sad and annoyed. I cannot believe that just happened. Well, I'm going to keep going for a second. I can't believe that just happened! What an idiot! You know what? While I'm waiting, I'm going to do this fella anyway. So let's just throw you. And I'm going to... There you go. You can start curing. Because I wasn't going to put you in the same boat anyway. So it doesn't matter. And I'm going to... I know, I'm just going to kill these a lot. I can't... I'm, I'm so depressed. This is my depressed voice. I can't believe I just did that. What a complete wally. That's it, fella. You keep shaking. You are not going to believe what just fell down again. Right, don't do this again, fella. Seriously. You are a complete plank if you do this one again. Do not kill the zombie villager. Only kill the skeleton. Right, now come around. Get this zombie villager out here. Lose the carpet. Lose that. Get ready. Oi, zombie villager. Come and get me. Come and get me in the boat. Come and get me in the boat. Get in the boat. Ha! Oh, now we're farming. And the witch came just at the wrong moment. Where's my thing? Right, get the trap door. Pop that in here. Put the trap door back there. We are safe as houses. And fella, I got something for you. I got something. Hang on. Let me just get this here. There you go. Have that. And that. Ha! Oh, I have never felt so lucky in all of my life. I can't believe I got those zombie villagers. Two. Killed one and then got another one. And managed to get it out before the absolute creeper horde came along. Look at the state of that. Blood in hell. That is very, very green. Oh well, I might as well get the XP, right? Let's just keep battering what I, I should probably. If I use the sword on the witchy poo, that might help kill it a bit quicker, mightn't it? There we go. Because this has got sharpness on it, otherwise it's just going to keep curing itself. Stop curing yourself. I don't want you to be cured. That's boring. Right, I'm going to pop that carpet back on. The, no, you, you come there then. That's what. If you want to keep coming to me, you feel free. But I want to put that. No, you want to keep coming to me. All I want to do is take out that carp. Just pop the carp. No, you want to keep coming. You can feel free to keep coming. I just want to put the carpet back. No, don't you go on there. Because if you go on there, you might be able to see me and blow stuff up. And that would be bad. And that would be very, very sad as well. If I'm doing pop that there. There we go. That's sorted. I'll go. You keep curing yourself. It doesn't matter. Because I'm just going to keep hitting you with my sharpness sword. And there's our first one. Zombie Doctor Goal Reach. You, you hurry up, you. Hurry up and then I can get rid of you both. Right, so now I need to decide what I'm going to do with you. Because if I swim you off there, we've got a platform down at the bottom. But I need to build a platform. Right, platform building time. The sun's coming up. It is now day 80. I can't believe it's day 80. I'm so nowhere near doing what I need to do. I'm just going to make a fletching table. Because that would be a really useful way of getting lots of emeralds and lots of XP. So I'll have one of them. And when I've got a little bit more leather, I'll make another bookshelf to make another lectern. Hold up. I've got books here, silly man. So get myself one bookshelf. Don't need that. They can go across the middle. One bookshelf. Thank you very much. Come out. Pop that bookshelf in there. Slab there. Slab in each of those, one lectern, I'll have that as well. And that's another block. Time to get some villagers bread. Realised I haven't got enough carrots, so I'd better start bone mealing those up as well. And this all took way too long. It is now day 81. 81? What on earth is going on? My life's passing me by. Right, so I've built my little villager enclosure at the bottom. I'll show you that in just a sec. So what I need to do is I need to just knock out that bit. Make sure I collect it. There we go. And this bit. And this bit, and if I look over there without falling over, you can see is my little villager enclosure. That's where you're all going to live. So let's get in there. I'm going to take you down, and we're going to fall in a boat. And when you fall in a boat, it doesn't matter. And we are going to be straight in the villager enclosure. Oh, of course, we're bouncing on the bed. Of course, we're bouncing on the bed. That's what we want. So, and that's going to come down there. I'm going to get out. I'm going to, there you go. You've already taken that one. That's what we want. You come out of there. What are you actually, what's your trades? Let's let me have a look. I just want to see your trades. Hang on, come here, come here. Your trades are rubbish, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, second villager coming down. What I'm hoping is that we don't land on the other one. I don't think it makes any difference, does it? No, it doesn't. Did I land on your head? Did I just land on your head, mate? Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, here's your mate. No, don't go both go in there. I know your friends and all that. Right, so you have become that. There you go. And what's your trade like? I'm hoping that you got a good one. Sticks for emeralds. We like that a lot. So on the morning of day 82, I decided I was going to try and re-roll to get much better trades from this fella here. You come over here. 
Oh, you're probably not going to do it yet. It's too early for you. As soon as you do, no, you are. We like you better. What have you got now? Impaling. No, we don't like that at all. Let's try and get some more. Now, I'm really tempted with Fortune 3. I've got to be honest with you. I might keep you locked in because you're quite cheap at the minute. What I really want to get is something that's going to make my boat infinity. But Fortune 3, you know what? I'm just going to breed you up now. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. If I just lob the carrots in, is that going to be enough to get you two jiggy in? I've got no idea. Right, speak to each other then. You know you want to. I'm clearly going to have to get more carrots because they are not remotely interested in each other, which means I need to get more bone meal from up here. We've got plenty of haul here, so let's take these bones out, pop that there and there. I reckon that should be enough bone meal for anybody. Pop that down. Uh, can I just lob myself off? There, not that way. I can that way though. Right, so jump straight in the water. That will save me a bit of time and then I can bone meal up these carrots and hopefully I'll get plenty of carrots to be able to get these two breeding because they're not interested at the minute. What I might do is put some dirt inside the farm so they can actually farm themselves and stick myself a composter in there when I've got another another villager but I've got to start on breeding up first and then they can self so fish then can't they I'll just add a few extra beds and that kind of thing I'll have more villagers and I know what to do with then right now surely that is enough carrots for you two to at least like each other a little bit come on I cured you both surely you must be absolutely gagging to make friends oh hang on a minute they're starting to share food oh there's a baby there's a baby in there, idea. I missed the baby, but the baby's there. Now we are literally farming. Right, I need to sort this out. I've made a composter, so I'm gonna put, oh no, I can't put it there, can I? I'm gonna put it there. So that composter now will make this fella into a farmer as soon as he wakes, well, as soon as he wakes up, as soon as he grows up. And hopefully they'll be able to keep themselves breathing. I can put more beds in. This will be good. It's a real shame that I'm about to wake up on day 83. Right, I'm gonna leave you guys to it just for a little bit because I wanna go and do something else. You keep like breeding and whatever else. You should have plenty of crops there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna give you all of these carrots because I can. Have those, go on, just for extras in case you run out until old farmer boy starts sorting himself out. That was a successful few days. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get myself one of those books. Why don't I just put those books? I know I've got some, there's some books, right. And I know I've got some emeralds somewhere and if I haven't, I can trade up some emeralds using sticks and stuff. I'm gonna get myself that fortune book. I'm gonna make myself some workstations because that's gonna expand my border a little bit as well. So if I get one of those, get myself a blast furnace, that's one more. Because I've realized I've been ignoring the fact that I'm not expanding my border and I really need to get it a little bit bigger. Well, I've made a few, I've got a cauldron. I'm not gonna do leather working because I don't wanna do that. But I'm gonna take a blast furnace and a smithing table and a smoker and a grindstone across with me, as well as some lecterns and some more to make some beds. And then I should have plenty of village just to be able to do what I need to do. Looks like we've got a couple of kids, oh, three kids rolling around. That's quite good, we like that. And if I pop down the blast furnace there, I'm gonna make myself a few more beds to allow them to do a little bit more breeding. So fletching table, blast furnace, grindstone, lectern, a loom, and a smithing table. I'll stick another couple of lecterns down as well, and I reckon that'll be me good. But I do wanna do a bit of trading, so I'm gonna have a go with my mate here. If I bash those in, also it sticks loads more now. We get loads more animals than that fella, can't we? Come on. Oh, we got an iron golem coming to join the party as well. I suppose theoretically I could make myself a little bit of an iron farm out of this, but uh, I don't think I could be bothered. Typically the trade ran out before I had quite enough emeralds. That is not a problem. I'm just going to pop my resources down in here. The emeralds can go in there. In fact, what I might do, actually that would be really silly. Why don't I put myself a chest down inside the complex to put all the emeralds and stuff like that and that would make far more sense, wouldn't it? There we go. And I'll pop in some carrots there as well. So I've now got enough emeralds to be able to trade with this fella pop that in there one fortune three book that is what i was after he is now locked in as well which is brilliant right i'm leaving these alone for a little bit because i want to go and do just a little bit of mining i mostly need cobble but now i've got fortune three i'm going to see if i can find some diamonds as well and this is a thing of beauty look at that just need i'm breaking on it now i'm also going to fix my bow while i'm at it okay let's go and see what i can find and whilst i was mine i don't know if you can see that but that my friends is the deep dark which means Hmm, I'm a little worried about we've got a bit of a 
bit of some noise boxes going on. However, I think this is extra blocks, right? Surely if I can collect it, that would be extra blocks, but I've not got silk touch, so I can't do that at the moment. So let's leave that for now. However, I do know that's there and we can come back for it. It's day 84. I might actually get to 100 days here. This deep dark is actually everywhere. So no matter where I'm digging, I am ending up there is, hang on, we don't like that. There's no shriekers around, I don't think. So that, oh, there is a shrieker up there. We need to be very careful. Let's get rid of you. Right, see that's, oh no, it's not a shrieker, that's okay. That is a spawn block. So I've done that, that's slightly safe, but I do want to come through here. What I don't want to do is find any actual shriekers. Oh, we got zombies though. What I could do is I could start shooting them because I have got arrows. Let's get rid of you. And I've got power on my bow, so I shouldn't be scared of them. This is where the deep dark can start to fool you. There's a lot of zombies coming from up there because obviously they don't spawn in the deep dark, but they do spawn next to the deep dark. So we've got to make sure we do light this up still. Typically there is an enderman there and I do not want to look him in the eye. So I'm just going to try and avoid him. What I might do, I'm going to get under too high because then maybe I'll look at him once I'm under too high. He's going to be able to teleport there. So I'm not doing that. I'm not that daft. Right, let's try building ourselves up a little platform that is too high and he can definitely not get us on. And then I'll kind of tempt him in. Let me pop this down here so he can't get to us. Is this a stupid thing? To, this is probably a stupid thing to do, right? Right, that's a load of too high stuff. I'm just going to light this up so nothing comes at us from behind. And I just need to get rid of... Uh, the end of Bobby, because they make me nervous and they kill me a lot. And I'm always a bit worried about that. Where are you, fella? There you are. Right, you're coming this way. I wonder, uh, I don't think you're gonna come, are you? If I do that and that, I think I need to do it in a little bit more of an obvious way, don't I? I need to put this ceiling down to two. Make sure you can't get me from either direction. Don't walk that way. I want you to die. But I want you to die on my terms. That's the way it works, right? So just keep... You stay where you are, fella. Don't you worry about me. I'm just doing a little bit of building. Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. I'm just building up a ceiling that you can't get under. You know, it's fine, right? That's all you need. Don't need to know any more than that. It's all right. You just keep wandering around like the uh, very friendly chap that you are that doesn't want to kill me at all. Right, here we go. This is probably not a good idea, but I'm going to try and kill him anyway. So that's you. Keep coming. This is perfect. Oh, I set it up beautifully. Come on, fella. Keep coming. I've got sharpness here, so you shouldn't last very long. Ha! I don't know what I was worried about. That was just silly. That was too easy. I set off a little gravel trap, and as a result of the gravel trap, I've exposed some shan here. So I'm going to use my pick. I just got the one. Oh, no, there's more than one. How many diamonds am I going to get out of this one? Three. Right, so there's three actual diamond blocks, which is equal. Is it just a three? Yeah, it is. Which is equaled four. Oh, that's rubbish. Sometimes life is just a disappointment. Obviously, we've got this basalt here. I'm just going to plough through it. I'm assuming this is not the same geode we were in before, and it's a different one. I've not lit it up, have I? No, this is a different geode. So that's quite nice. Let's go grab myself one of these torches, because I've run out of torches, and I've not got any coal. I can't believe I've run out of torches. So I need to sort that out again. But let's just pop a light there. Now that should sort that out. That bat is going to sort out that screamer, no doubt. So I'm just going to be a little bit of a retreat now, I think. I'm not going any further without torches and all I really need is cobblestone, so I'm too deep for that. Although I had walked straight past this diamond block. Is that giving me another couple? There we go. Eight. That was worth it, that one. There's something really eerie about the deep dark. I keep setting off the motion sensors, but fortunately I don't think there are any screamers around, at least not nearby. And as a result, I've not caused anything horrible to come and get me. But I am a little bit nervous, so let's get myself out quick whilst I still can. I'm just going to dig out this cobble around where I've got loads of torches anyway, so I don't need any more. When I got back up, it was day 86, so I got all that stuff smelting because I need plenty of normal stone. If I'd have had a silk touch pick, it would have been so much better. So I'm smelting that up now and I'm getting a load more wood because I'm going to need that. 
I've got to get building. This thing is not gonna build itself and I've only got 14 days before we hit day 100. I've never got to day 100 before. This could be summit, famous last words. And I've placed that block of copper there to try and oxidize it. And it's not doing anything at the minute. It's taking ages. I've got the noise of pillagers outside here somewhere. So I already killed one, so I've got my extra banner. That was the one that was carrying the banner, obviously. And I got a mad cow disease, but I milked a cow, so it was all fine. But I can hear the horrible noises. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Isn't it weird? You get the noise. Oh, there he is. I knew he was around there. Right, come on then, fella. Yeah, I'm going to just hit you a lot. There we go. There's still more of them. Found another one. Just keep hitting me, and then I'm just going to keep hitting you. There we go. Surprise pillager attacks. Well, they're not my favourite thing, but they're quite easy when you've got some enchanted armour. But that block still not oxidising. But what I really want to do is go back over to the villagers. Something about a villager trading hall that's incorporating a breeder that makes you just want to keep checking on it. Or is that just me? Let me know in the comments. And you know me, I can resist anything except temptation. So I'm going over anyway. Look, there's loads of villagers over there. I love this game. Look at that. The iron golems there patrolling around the platform. The villagers are there doing the works that they've got to do. We have got, what is your trade? That's a bit rubbish at the minute, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be rubbish. That is quite a nice sword, you know. Sharpness. I don't like the knockback so much, but it's not too bad. I've got another fella here. That's punch two. No, you're rubbish. You are, you're my fortune three, we like you. And you are Riptide. I need to sort these two out, that's no good. I added a couple of extra lecterns as well because these rerolls are really not working. So what we got there, we've got lure three. Now that's all nice and everything. If I wanted to go, there's my fortune three fella. You are smite, now you're rubbish. Infinity, infinity, okay, so which one are you? I need, to, I need some books. Which one are you? I don't even know which one you are. Oh no, I need to trade with you. Uh, Paper? No. If I get some paper, maybe a paper. Let's trade with you quick. I just cannibalized one of the bookshelves from up in the base on the hill. I haven't got enough cows because I slaughtered them all for books. This is not a good position, so I've got three books. Fortunately, I'd put 16 bookshelves in that enchanted setup up on the hill, so I had one spare. So I need to get myself a load more emeralds because I've only got three in my inventory at the minute, but I brought loads of sticks, so I'm prepared for that, which means I need to kick one of these fellas out, sleep in their bed, and then we're good to go. Right, I need to find my fella. Is it you? Infinity. Oh, it is. It's you. It's you. So I've, I've, nah, I need seven more. So where's my stick boy? Stick boy, where are you? I can't see. There you are. Right, stick boy. We are going for a load of emeralds, please. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of these. This is going to be rubbish if I run out of sticks. Oh, that's enough, isn't it? Right. Infinity boy, where are you? No, you're fortune free boy. Infinity boy. There you go. I want that. Infinity, I'll take that and now you're locked in. If I chop this out, it doesn't, I wonder whether or not that's your one. Is that your one? Let me just pop that away. If I pop that back there, or there even, I think that might be yours, in which case I can re-roll all you rubbish ones. Lure three though, do I want lure three? Lure three, maybe I want to keep lure three, I don't know. It's a gamble. Let's gamble. I want to see where you all work. That's probably the best way to work out, isn't it? Right, let's chop that. You turn there, so that's you. So I'm going to pop that back. You should turn back into one. What have you now got? Aqua Affinity. I'm not bothered about Aqua Affinity. Let's take that. Right, let's keep re-rolling until we get some it. Uh, see, now we've got Luck of the Sea and... No, that's the Infinity, dude. And where's Lure? Where's Lure gone? Where are you gone? Lure. And Lure too. Do I really want to do fishing, though? I'm not sure I want to do fishing. I'd rather get a mending, wouldn't you? I don't mind telling you, this is genuinely taking forever. So get out of the way. Come on. I want a decent one. Surely statistic. No, there's still... It's constant rubbish, one after the other. It's either bookshelves, which arguably I should probably be getting because at the minute all I seem to be doing is spending my cows on bookshelves. You get out of the way. Or something daft like Riptide, which is absolutely new use to me whatsoever. So come on, give me something nice. Give me something nice. Lure one. Just no. I'll take a silk touch. I reckon silk touch is probably fine. So let's uh, click on that. I can afford silk touch. We'll take it. You are now locked in. This fella is done. Right, so what I probably need to do, I need to put a torch on the back of him so we know he's done. I think he's... Oh, no, I'm just going to get confused. I'm not doing that. Let's just see what else we got. Let's get rid of this guy because I think this guy... See, lure three. I'm not going to do fishing. So you're no good to me. Where's Where's he gone? Here we go. What you have now? Come on. Give me something worth it. Oh, 
Rubbish. Uh, now, feather falling could be quite useful, to be fair, because I do fall a lot. I might hold that one for a little bit. Now, I may have just accidentally hit a villager, so I'm now very nervous of Mr. G. So I'm just going to check to see whether or not he hates me. Do you hate me? No? We're all right. We're still friends. I got away with that one, but they're going to start talking to each other and saying, that bloke over there, he hit me, and that's not going to be very good for my trades, unfortunately. Infinity there. At the minute, Infinity still loves me. You're still rubbish. Well, I've just turned this guy into Feather Falling 4, which makes this guy a little bit less interesting. So it's now day 90. I kid you not, day 90. I, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. I just I just want to have something that's nice. So go on, give me something nice. What we got? Quick charge one. That's not nice. That, however, is nice. Trouble is, I can't remember if I got a mending book from anyone else. I don't think I did, did I? Fortune 3, Feather Falling, Silk Touch. No, I think that was it. Mending's a good one. Right, so what have I got to do to trade with you? 9, 13, 9, yeah. I've got, I've got to do some serious, serious emerauding. And I haven't really got... This could have all been a complete waste of time. It's day 90. And I haven't got anything to trade with these poor people with. But, you know, I've got a good selection of stuffs now. I'd actually really like to trade with the armour and get him up. But for now, I've simply not got time. I'm going to have to get building. Look, look at the state of that thing up there. It's only half done. But what I do now have is an infinity bow. Oh, yeah, we like that. And I think what I need to do, where's my diamonds? I think I need to make myself another pick to give myself a silk touch pick. So let's just bang that. This is a good one. Pop that in there, that there, silk touch. I'm just gonna change this to silk touch so I don't actually mess it up, silk touch. There we go. This is progress. And I've put down two copper blocks and neither of them are oxidizing. I'm just gonna ignore them. I need to seriously focus on getting resources for the base. And to be honest, this sort of amount of stuff is just embarrassing. I need more. And now I've got this silk touch pickaxe, I can pop out this stone without having to smelt it up, which is gonna save me a little bit of time, so that's handy. They're still not oxidizing. There is an enderman in my house, and I don't wanna look at him because I don't trust him. And for some reason, he's somehow got in. I don't know how he's managed to get in. But I don't like it. One must kill him. So I've come into my little hole, which is only two blocks high. So surely, right, surely I can kill him from here. So I'm going to look at him a little bit. Oi. There we go. Oh, so now he's disappeared. No, no, we don't like disappearing, Enderman. Disappearing Enderman are bad. Where up? Where you gone? No, this isn't good. Oh, what? I might have just stuffed myself. Right, shield's up. We need to know exactly where he is. I don't like it. He, I reckon he must have gone outside. Has he gone outside? So, because he shouldn't be able to get in here. I don't think. Can he get in here? I don't know. Where are you, fella? I can hear you, but I don't like you. He's there. I got him. He tried to have a go. He's digging his way through to me, but I got him because he, he picked up, he picked on the wrong bloke this time. He also took a piece of my, hang on. Right, so what I've got to do is I've got to dump some of this because I was just about to go and get all my stuff. And I'm going to pick up an end pearl, which is good. That's a brand new block. And I'm going to pop that there. That got a little bit hairy. I really do not like Enderman. I've just realised my silk touch pick could let this out for me, couldn't it? So I've got one of them, oh, except I've not got any gaps. So if I just get rid of the sticks, that sorts out the pods hole. That's another thing. And now I just need to, anything else, I can just use my silk touch pick. It doesn't have to be a silk touch shovel, does it, for goodness sake? I might as well just use silk touch and anything. I'm also just making some mud. And I've just got, let's get rid of that so as I can pick up the mud. So that's two extra muds. I've got three, where's the other mud gone? There it is, that mud there. I can then mix that with this. One, two, three. Oh, that's carrots. We don't want carrots. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Uh, let's just drop the chest for a minute. Mix that with those. So if I put those there and those there, I get some packed mud. Uh, if I get rid of the carrots, I get some packed mud. And I can put packed mud in there and get some mud bricks. More blocks. And I appreciate if I do, I can get like the mud brick steps and slabs, but I'll worry about that a little bit later. Look, I've made a pathway that goes all the way up. Are you proud of me? At least I know which way to go up that's the best. It's not great, 
but it is the best. Ha! Look! They've started, so I'm going to get that one. That gives me exposed copper, which is brilliant. Let me come in here, hang on. That gives me exposed copper, which I can put back. And I'll let that one carry on, which will give me a different block. And I thought it's been a little while, so let's see how far out we actually go on the border now. We must have gone out by a number of blocks by now, surely. Which means there could be all sorts of blocks I could get with this Silk Touch pick. Like maybe these coral blocks, I could pick those up with Silk Touch, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, look, it's so tantalizingly close. Hang on, what's that over there? There's something over there, I can't... Does that look like... Mesa-esque type stuff with terracotta. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to expand the border a little bit more with all of these uh, different coral blocks, I think. Because theoretically, if I pick that up with, yeah, silk touch, and I can chuck that away because I don't want to keep it, I pick it, this up with silk touch. Yeah, then I can have that and chuck that away. I don't care about that. Let's get rid of that. I don't care about that. Make sure that I breathe, otherwise I'm going to die. Also, I think that was a new one. Yeah, it was. I grabbed rid of that. I really don't want you. Go away, pink. That pink one really wants to stick with me, doesn't it? If I carry on doing this, I could expand my border by quite a bit, right? You know what I'm going to do? I shouldn't be doing this with no space. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to go and get the boat that's got the thing, that's got that um, barrel. Barrel? It's not a barrel. It's a chest fella. It's called a chest boat. The clue is in the name. I'm going to go and get the chest boat so I can put some coral in the chest boat. And then I can put it down on the dry ground. I want to put it down on the dry ground. That will then turn into the grey version, which I think, I'm assuming, will be a new block again. But I better hurry up because this is day 94. 94! What on earth am I doing? I need to get myself building. I've not built a single block on that thing up the top. So I really, really need to get myself going. However, I've got a trident man on me. And I need to get away from him really quick. So I don't know why I'm swimming on top of the water because I'm going to do it much quicker on this water there. There we go. He's, I don't know, I can't see him, but he's not very nice. So I'm swimming away. I don't want to mess around with him right now because it's just not worth it. And to know a trident would be another block if he dropped one, but... You know, we're just about to go on to day 95. I'm not gambling my 100 days on a three-pronged fork. But we have exposed that shipwreck that we found a little while back. It's pretty deep. But I wonder whether or not we might have to go and have a look at that. There could be some stuff in there that we've not seen yet. This really does look properly deep down here. I'm not sure. I think I should have come with a little bit of wood, I think. Because, yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take off the top couple of bits of the mask, which actually that's dark oak, right? So that'd be a new block again. So if I come down here, my aqua affinity should help me. If I take a couple of blocks there, come back up to the top, I've got a oh, spruce. It's not dark oak, it's spruce. I'll take that, turn that into that, turn that into a crafting table, and then come down, place the crafting table on top there, pop that in there, get that in there, don't drown. Seriously, dude, this is not what you want to do. Don't drown. That's a terrible way to die. Then grab those. Come down again. Get onto that. Make yourself a doors. Pop them there. Come up. Pop a door on top of the crafting table using shift. And then you come down and you can breathe on top of the crafting table, which gives you a little bit of a look around. And then we can make it in two steps. That sounds like far more sense to me. That actually got me quite a lot of little bits out of the chest, etc., including bottles of enchanting, a very treasure map, which we'll look at at the minute, some leather pants. Don't want those leather boots. They can go. And some feathers. Believe it or not, I've not had any feathers yet. I hadn't killed any chickens. So that got me a few new blocks. And I've seen just a little way away, I have got a sea lantern just there as well. So... With my silk touch pick, I can come and have a pop at the sea lantern as well, which means there's something kind of around about here, doesn't it? Let's have that. It's a bit of sea lanternage. When that floats to the top, I'll grab it because I need to give myself a bit of a space in my boat. That's it, sea lantern, another new block. And I've also got all five of the color variants of the coral with their fans and their full coral as well. So what I can do, if I pop these, let's just get these into my thing. If I pop these on, they should turn like grey, right, because they're out of the water. There. Yep, they're going grey already. There. And which one haven't I done yet? Have I not done the pink one? No, the red one. And the red one, that's cool. So that'll go nice and grey. If I then use my silk touch, grab that. That's a dead one. As is that. Oh, this is good. And also I can do it with the fire coral fan and the bubble coral and all that kind of stuff. So let's pop that there. Let's put that on top there. 
and they'll go grey as well. And if I grab that, that is another one. That's 15 extra expansion blocks. It's day 96, and whilst I've got all of those blocks to expand my border, I am still a few blocks short to go and do the build, and I really, really want to try and get as much of that done before the end of the 100 days, otherwise it sort of feels a little bit pointless. So I'm just grabbing the last few blocks before I make a start on that. So I'm hoping that these resources are going to be enough to get me through. I'm not entirely convinced, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up some windows opening out onto the front like that. That's looking great. And then I'm going to get myself some steps. I've got steps for the inside. We've got some steps here. So pop that there. I'm also going to get some of these. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that first. I'm going to get myself some of these first. Is that on the outside? Nope. I heard a growling, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to come to the outside. I'm going to place an upside down step there. I'm going to put a torch there. I'm going to get myself an oak fence there, place the oak fences on that side, and that way we've got our first window. And I can pop these windows in across a few of these gaps. And I reckon that looks all right. What I do need to do is I need to put torches on the inside of these, just so as we've got enough light on the inside, because I've got to lift up the ones that are on the floor. They don't look so good. I'm going to place a torch there. Torch. I might actually... You know what? Let's, let's open that up as well on that side. We're going to have a window there. Oh, maybe we can't. No, let's open it up. I don't see any reason why we can't have a window there as well. Let's uh, pop that like that. We can still put that there. I can still put those there and there. And pop that there. Pop myself a torch on the top. Torch can go on the top there as well. So we've got enough light on the inside. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a roof across this area. I've run out of torches. That's not a good thing. Didn't come prepared for that, did I? But it's all right. I can make myself some charcoal. Okay, we've trimmed that off with just a single row of planks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these slabs to fill in the rest of the roof. And that way I've got a platform to work from when we do the second level. One platform complete. It's still day 97 at the moment. And I'm coming out just one level with a few different textures of steps. I just killed some phantoms because I've forgotten to sleep the last few nights because I want to get more work done because I'm running out of time. But it does mean I've got phantom membrane, which is another block. But what I have now got is this edge here that's the top of a log plus this edge here, which is stone. And I don't want that on my internal. So I'm going to place these slabs across the top of that stone there. So I've still got the outer edge. Get rid. You know, I might leave that there. Maybe I'll leave that there. But no, that's got to come out. Bring this around like that. And I've got the outer edge I can still work up with. That's much better. It looks more even and natural. What I can now do is build up this wall on the outside and give this place a little bit more shape. And I'm going to try not to do any sleeping because it's night time of day 97. And I reckon finishing this off with a bit of a flourish, we ought to do a time lapse. So let's crack on with some building. <laughs> And believe it or not, that is day 100. Look, check it out, day 100, I made it and I didn't die. 
However, I haven't come close to finishing this base up in the mountains. So if you guys fancy a 200 days, are you mental? Where I can actually finish off all of this area and do a number of other things and maybe even, dare I say, kill the dragon. Assuming, of course, there's a portal somewhere within the border. I don't know. It might not be. I, I ain't got a clue. I've not seen one yet, but maybe there isn't one. I need to sort myself out. But maybe. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, yeah, if you want 200 days, then let me know in the comments below and see if I can put myself through that torture. But until then, that is officially the 100 day Minecraft hardcore challenge complete, right? How did I manage that? Another 100 day hardcore challenge is coming soon, but let me know what sorts of things you'd like to see me do in the comments below. It'd be brilliant to hear from you because your ideas are always way better than mine. And obviously, likey, subscribey stuffs as well is always appreciated. It costs you nothing, but really helps out the channel. I feel as if I did dawdle a bit with this one. I could have done a lot more if I hadn't messed about getting so much resource, moving mob farms, and, well, frankly, being pretty inefficient. But I'll definitely look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye!